Uh, we are back tonight with a sharp detour and a dramatic change of heart for the man who once identified as a Korean woman and underwent 32 plastic surgeries along the way. Tonight, in part two of our interview, social media influencer Ollie London tells us the rest of his story, including what happened when God stepped in. I mean, you just really recently detransitioned, and you said you had a sort of a moment of reckoning in a Catholic church. Tell us about that and how God changed your life. So I was at a point in my life where I was extremely lost. I was feeling, you know, very sad about what I've done to myself. I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm thinking, what have I actually become? What's happened to the real Ollie that was inside of me, you know? Because I felt like the old me was dead. I didn't recognize that person when I look at old pictures. And I thought, why have I done this to myself? And then I was walking home one day and I saw um, people filing into a church. Um, they were all smartly dressed. They were all in good spirits. I saw them walking into the church. So I thought, you know, I got curious and I thought, let me go inside. I've always been curious about uh, Christianity. I sat inside. I watched the service. Um, I sang along with some of the hymns. And I just found it was a very welcoming place. You know, um, all the people there were friendly. They were happy. They seemed like they're in a good place in life and I thought you know maybe I can be like that too maybe I can find this happiness and then after the service uh, the priest actually approached me we had a conversation they offered me a bible and they you know they, they made me feel welcome and they said I was welcome back anytime um, so since then I've been going uh, three times a week I've um, got my own bible I've been studying um, the teachings of Jesus and I just think there's so many good things in the bible you know uh, about what Jesus did with the leper man you know the leper was rejected from society Jesus came to wash him when nobody else would help this person. And I almost felt that I identified with the leper in the sense that these people online, the trans lobby, they have kind of vilified me and tried to paint me out as a bad person just for sharing my story. So I, I thought, you know, the teachings of Jesus were very helpful. It, it's all about spreading love and kindness. And, you know, Christian people have given me so much love over the past uh, month. And I do want to get baptized um, very soon and, you know, uh, become uh, fully Christian. Oh, that is wonderful. And I know that, you know, I want to bring this up, too, that at some point you were considered somewhat of a, a controversial figure, and, and maybe even so now, um, in taking part in some behaviors that may be considered uh, a little eye-raising. There was a video of you marrying a man uh, several months ago and uh, a ceremony performed by a man dressed up like a topless priest. I'm curious, can you talk to us about what was happening in your life at that point and how things have changed for you, how God has helped you? Well, firstly, I want to apologize to for any of my past behaviors because I really was a lost person. I felt like I was battling uh, demons inside. I just felt really, really unhappy. And I feel like, you know, I was trying to do things that were to try and make me happy, but they were actually making me feel worse inside. So, you know, if, if anyone uh, saw my past behavior or thought, you know, it was a little bit unusual or my identity or my surgery was a little bit weird, then I do apologize for that. Um, you know, I think everyone has a chance to redeem themselves. Everyone has a chance to change. Um, you know, I've been finding God. It's a long journey. Um, I know I've got a long way to go, but, you know, I hope that uh, Christians can accept me. And what would you say to those who may be going through struggles right now, like you went through? I would just say, be strong, stay true to yourself. Um, don't do anything you're going to regret. You know, this would be my message to teenagers. Don't go through these surgeries. Don't take these puberty blockers. Don't go through hormone replacement therapy because it's extremely harmful. And the vast majority of people that do this from a young age are going to live to regret it. They're going to be on medication for their whole life. You know, in some cases, they will have serious uh, illnesses, uh, bone tissue issues. So I would just say, please, please, please don't be doing this as a kid. You know, if you, if you feel trapped in your body, you know, try, find yourself, go to a church, um, go to a Catholic church, speak to a priest and see if they can give you advice and guidance because I think a lot of young people these days they're just lost they just don't know who they are and you know they see these things online and they think it's normal to have a sex change they think that's completely normal when it really isn't you know it's not a normal thing it's a recent thing that's happened due to the education system due to uh, social media and other influences pushing this on kids but I would just say you know be strong love who you are love yourself the way God made you don't be going under these changes just be happy and find uh, love within yourself Well, Ollie, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We really appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy. God bless you.